Hi, and welcome to Ask Ansley. I'm Dana Zalowski from the Stokes Group. Each week, we'll be answering our clients' frequently asked questions about buying, selling, and all things real estate. This week, we'll be answering the question, what is an investor ratio in a condo building, and is it important to a buyer? The investor ratio in a condo building is the percentage of the building that is owned by investors or people who rent their unit out, relative to the owner occupants who consider their unit their primary residence and live there full time. Many condo buildings place a cap on the total number of units that can be rented at any given time. The investor ratio matters because it is one of the factors that a lender considers when deciding whether or not to approve the building as a part of approving a loan for a buyer. In a less concrete sense, it also matters because owner-occupants tend to be more involved in the affairs of the building, take better care of their unit and common elements, and are far more likely to pay their dues on time, among other things. An investor looking to purchase in a condo building should be aware of any investor cap prior to investing in that building. Condo owners should monitor their board proceedings if a change to their investor policy is ever a topic for discussion. Generally speaking, we find that buildings with low investor ratios are better managed and more appealing to owner-occupant buyers. The exception to that is a buyer who might be looking to reside in the unit for a while and then convert the unit to an investment. Additionally, if a condo building is located in a highly desirable rental area, such as near one of our major universities, then it would make sense to find a building with no investor cap. As a buyer, seller, or homeowner, you probably have a few more questions and we'd love to answer them. Call us at 202-270-1081, email us at ansleyatthestokesgroup.com, and be sure to keep your eye out for our next video.